Now is the time to allow fantasy and magic. The Merlin I am. Now is the time to realize there are no limits, there are no barriers, there's nothing holding us back. Yes, on the physical and mental level there will be adjustments that take place responding to the consciousness, responding to the new reality that you're going in, that we're all going in. But right now, right now, my dear friends, let's do what we came here to do. I'll continue to guide you. I'll continue to distract you when needed, to give you information and to hopefully open that, that feelings, the sensory part of you and, and your consciousness. But let's go forward to do exactly what we came here to do. We have a huge opportunity coming up very, very soon. This planetary reset, uh, I, I call it the coronavirus reset because the coronavirus created the opportunity and now the perfect bed, the coronavirus created this perfect bed, this setting for this global consciousness reset to occur. Let's be here for that. And at the same time, a reset in yourself in terms of not holding back, not limiting, not, not saying, well, let's do it part way. It's all or nothing. That's my way, all or nothing. And I hope you join me in it. With that, let's bring this all together with a Marab. With a little music in the background to really integrate, to absorb what we've just talked about. Now some may drop out. Some may say, well, this is too much fantasy. I've got to, I've got to pay the bills. I've got people to take care of. Uh, and that's fine if they drop out. You'll be back. You'll be back. When you see others have done it, you'll be back and there'll be no shame either. There'll be no shame or judgment. We've got about 1,500 realized masters on the planet from Chambra. Many more to come. There's never been an opportunity like this right now to open up the realms, to break free of so many limitations uh, that have occurred in human consciousness. Some say, you know, it's all fiction. Let's stick to the facts. Let's stick to data. No. There's so much more out there, and, and you know it. That's the thing. You know it. We talked about that in our last shout. You already know. It's time right now that individually, and then as a group, and then eventually as a planet that would go into the new realms. I would go into what I've often called the Atlantean dream. On one hand, it sounds very difficult. I, we're basically going to change the physics of everything that's ever been known. It sounds a bit challenging, but on the other hand, it can be a very, very easy step. You may worry and wonder, are you just going crazy? But as I've said before, what is crazy? Is crazy staying in the same house, lifetime after lifetime, with the same rooms and the same windows and the same food in the refrigerator and the same everything, the same day, day after day after day? Is that sane? And what's crazy? going for what you know is there, but perhaps you have come to doubt it, or going for what lies on the other side of the rainbow. Well, everybody on this side of the rainbow says, don't do it, you're nuts, you're crazy. There's nothing over the rainbow, it's just a rainbow. Our dear Chambra, I want to mark this day the shout is that point we're coming up to 
But if that actually would be a little bit, a month or two later, this huge restart of human consciousness. And I ask, are you ready for this next step? Oh, it could be very exciting. Yes, fearful. <laughs> Some of you have been feeling tremendous anxiety lately. Some of you always feel tremendous anxiety, but lately a lot of extra anxiety. Wondering what's going on. Well, now you know. Now you know the pressure that the planet is facing and the pressure that you're facing. I consider it an exciting time. I, I'm thrilled. I go back to the Ascended Masters Club and I dance around that ballroom like, like an Ascended Master. <laughs> I'm so excited about what's happening. I'm, I'm even appreciative of the coronavirus uh, it caused tremendous changes on the planet. We're, we're coming out of that now, pretty much coming out of it. Took a little bit longer in some respects, but it did more than I would have ever really felt that the planet was capable of. It's on its way out. There'll be little pockets of it here and there, but then pff, it'll just, just finally all evaporate away. And as, as that evaporates away, it'll reveal what has come during this period, what during this time, and, and maybe you'll begin to understand the role you played in it. And you didn't need to get the, the virus in order to play the role. The role was being here. The role is realizing it's time to expand the realm of the human. Let's go for it. Fantasy, magic, ease and grace, and, and regular everyday human life as well, because there are some very beautiful things about it. Let's, let's do both of it. All that are ready to go forward, all that are ready to now move into this unimaginable, unbelievable potential. As you live your human life on the planet, let's, let's go. All of you who aren't so sure, you want to hold back, you want to do it so you don't set yourself up for disappointment, that's fine, no, no problem there. But I know there's enough of you that say, no, no, we're not going to hold back. Even if we're diving off the cliff into a deep, dark, bottomless abyss, our consciousness will change that abyss the moment that it's there into whatever you choose. Let's take a deep breath for the times we're in or the upcoming reset. For all that is, let's take a good deep breath and give yourself thanks for being here at this time. With that, remember that as crazy, as far fetched, as unimaginable as the places we're going to go, that all is well in all of creation. With that, I am. Adamus and St. Germain.